Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the start of my April monthly haul. I do have quite a bit to show you guys if you can't tell. Um, I have an order from Paper Shire, Crest Press, um, some Disney buttons from a new to me shop, a Fantasy Wax Melt, Scribble Prince Co, and then a Disney item from Amazon. So I am going to just jump right into this. I think I'm going to start with the Disney items and then, um, oh no. I have too much stuff. Um, and then I will make my way to the wax melt and then do the stickers just because I have a lot of stickers. So I feel like the longest part should go last. So these are my two Disney items. I will start with this item. I actually just got a bunch of packages in the mail and this was one of them, um, which is why I was really excited about this haul. So I did order from Clubhouse Buttons and I saw someone post this on Instagram, a picture of these buttons and I was like, oh my God. And I checked the shipping and it was supposed to be here within like a few days and it was. So I'm really excited. I think I found them last week and I'm going in a few few days now so the buttons I got sorry by the way if you can hear my fiance a little I'm not sure if he'll pick up but he is playing Dungeons and Dragons so but I'm just gonna let him be he's outside and um the outside doors right there so this says I'm celebrating being vaccinated and obviously they don't have this pin at Disney World that I am aware of um but I just thought these are so funny I've actually never gone on a Disney trip like celebrating a birthday or something special um so I don't know I thought this was cute because I've always wanted one of these pins that you get from Disney if you are celebrating something but I thought this was so cute because I am going on a trip with just my mom because we are vaccinated and it is um we are celebrating being vaccinated um because we are going to be the only ones um, two weeks after our last dose. So we're the only ones like in our immediate family um, that could go. And then I got these ones, which I just thought were so cute. So this one is a little mini with a face mask and it says 2021 vaccinated. And this is the same, but with Mickey and this one's blue and this one's purple. And I just thought these were so cute. I love the mini one. And then I'll probably give the Mickey one to my mom unless she really wants the mini, but she likes purple anyway. Um, but I just thought these were so cute. I'm not sure if these are supposed to mimic something. I'm not like, you know, that into Disney, but so I don't have like their pins memorized, but I thought these were so cute and just like a really good way to remember our trip, especially cause I have a pin board. So I figured like I could save these forever and I will remember our trip after defeating COVID-19. Um, and then I did get this shirt from Amazon. I thought this was so cute. I have just been looking for Disney shirts on Etsy and Amazon and random websites. And um, I saw this tie-dye one and I was obsessed and it was prime and everything like it came so fast. I love tie dye and I just think the Mickey Mouse is so cute. I don't wear like a lot of Disney on my day to day, but I think something like this I would definitely wear on my day to day just because I think it's so cute. And I just love tie dye, especially like rainbow tie dye. So I'm planning on wearing these with like black shorts or like biker shorts. And then I don't know if you guys remember from my March monthly haul, um, but I did have rainbow ears I bought from Etsy. So I was planning on wearing those with this shirt and it'd be like a cute rainbow outfit. Um, so yeah, those are my two things from that are Disney related, I guess. And then, but I do have more Disney related stuff, um, but like not sticker or wax melt. So I also just got this wax melt order in from Fantasy Wax Melt. She did have her release that was a collab with Scribble Prince Co. So first up, we have this freebie here, which is a um, wax melt sampler all in rainbow colors. And these are super cute. There's one with hearts, stars, oh no, Mickey heads, stars, hearts, and moons. And then um, I did order Reagan's favorite. So each month, someone in like their immediate family gets a set and April is Reagan's birthday. And so I already got it, which is super fast. Um, so I did order this and this is lemon pound cake based off the one in Starbucks, which I do love that. Oh my God, it is so good. I might buy more just because I know they're really limited. Oh my God, I honestly wanna melt it tonight. There's like cute sprinkles and Mickey heads 
and it's yellow. That is really good. And I'm really glad I got this one earlier because the last one I really liked was Avery's and hers. It was like already past February when I filmed it. So the next thing I have is this freebie, which was really, really nice. I wasn't expecting this. Um, and I think this is off the frozen animal. I said this in my last haul too, but it's Bruni and it's smoked woods, crackling embers. And I don't know what that says. It looks like it might have been, I don't know. Anyways, it's a 0.8 ounce one. It smells very like outdoorsy. I don't I don't know if I like that one. I think I like the one from Nerdy Wax Co. better. That was also Bruni. It was like a purple one, but I will still definitely melt that. And I definitely appreciate it because it was a freebie. So um, these are the wax melts that were a collab with Fantasy Wax Melts and Scribble Prince Co., which I'm so excited about. And they come in these little ones, which I actually didn't realize they were small, um, but that's totally fine. I actually like the small ones more because I don't have to cut them up. And this is the bag and it's so, so cute. I love it. All right, so starting with this one, we have Dream, which is oatmeal, vanilla, and sweet honey. My Before I smell this, my parents' puppy Mochi actually has oatmeal shampoo and I was commenting on how good it smelled yesterday because she got a bath when I was home. Oh my God obsessed like that is the perfect like fall like I love that it's called dream it's like the perfect falling asleep set and I realized when I was editing last month's haul that I'm not very good at describing these but I honestly just like am not good at describing scents but I definitely get a lot of the honey in that and it's really good this one is magic which is eucalyptus lavender and bear's mott not sure um Oh my God, that's really good. And I forgot what some of these are dupes for. I honestly didn't know what most of them were dupes for. Like I didn't know the items that they were. So I, I couldn't even tell you myself, but this one is Wish, which is salted caramel pistachio and soft citrus. Oh my God, I love this. This one might be my favorite so far. These are really good. I wish I got more. I love these. This one's love, which is wild berries, mandarin, and honeysuckle. I'm going to love this because I love berries. Look at how cute that is. Yep. Honestly, love all of them. I'm really impressed. I now wish they were a little bigger um, just because I love them. And if they ever make a comeback, I'm definitely buying like a bunch of these bundles because that was amazing. Um, okay, and then I guess I'll just jump into Scribble Prince Co because it's a nice segue, I guess. So I did place um, a kind of small order um, for just some Disney items and some monthly items. So first I have this freebie here, which I love this. I've been loving her freebies that look like this. And it says Summer Lovin'. It's in hollow and it's there's a sun and like some waves. I just love the way that's written. And then there's a bunch of icons and a Scribble Prince Co. Happy Mail sticker. So that is super cute. And then I did get a silver um, script sampler, which is also very nice. And then moving on to the items I got. So I basically decided on which Disney kit I was going to get, um, or I have for now at least. And I decided I really wanted to do a hollow kit because I love hollow, especially sparkly hollow. And she had a lot of these Disney items in sparkly hollow. So I found a kit from Wombs Girl Plans that I'm going to use, but it hasn't shipped. So um, I guess I will hope that it gets here by the time I get home um, so that I can plan right away, but we will see. So the first thing I got were these decorative Mi Mickey heads in hollow, which are so cute. If I didn't get them in sparkly hollow, it's because it wasn't offered in it or it was sold out. Um, and then I did get the scripts, which I also got in gold for my other spread for the Star Wars kit I'm using. And then I got these in Sparkly Hollow. And these are also, uh-oh, I, I either ordered the wrong thing or they sent me the wrong thing. I will check. But these are the names of the Magic Kingdom rides. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to say anything because... It's like not that big of a deal. I didn't know how much I was going to use those. And then I did get these full boxes in Sparkly Hollow, which are really cute. 
Um, and these are full box overlays, sorry. And I just think these are so cute. So I got two of those. I got the headers, which are super cute. I got the confetti washi, the solid ears washi, which I love. And that was all the Disney stuff I got. And then I did get some monthly items. I thought I ordered two kits. Maybe not though, maybe not. No, I don't think I did. Okay, sorry. So I got um, the May through, or the April through August in hollow and gold foil, just so I had these. And then I did get this monthly kit. I really like this art, but um, I didn't, I don't know. I haven't picked it up yet. I still might pick it up eventually. It this kit really reminds me of dad, of my dad and I really wish there were guy fashion add-ons to be honest because I would use this for like something about him um, because he's like an amazing artist. Um, but I still really like this art. So this I am planning on using in May maybe or maybe I thought this was April. I'm not sure um, <laughs> because I usually think of purple with April, but I just thought this was cute. If I don't use it, like I can use it for any month, I feel like. Again, I feel like her like centering choice of these art, of this like deco sidebar art is always kind of weird. But other than that, love these kits. So that was everything I got from Scribble Prince Co. Moving on, I am gonna go to Paper Shire because my Caress Press order is ginormous. Um, so from Papershire, I picked up a few things. So first, I got this ginormous journaling card. And it's funny because I always hear everyone say how big they are. But I haven't ordered from them in a while. And I got it. And I was like, oh my god, it really is really big. So that. And then this is a really cute one. This is like an Easter bunny Easter. Oh, and I like how it's blank on the back, that one, because I can reuse it. So these are the stickers I got. So... This was the all orders freebie. I usually don't use these. I usually declutter those. This was the $15 or more freebie. So her little character is a bunny. I'm not sure what its name is, um, but I don't order any of that character just because I like more like people characters. I don't really like animal characters, um, but this one's eating a burger. This one's eating a burrito. This one's eating a sandwich another sandwich and egg toast and another burger. And these are really cute. I probably will use these, um, but I don't know if I'd ever like order them. And then this was the $30 or more. So these are some flat lays, which I don't use, so I'll probably declutter. And then these are the actual stickers I got. So I did get a refill of the takeaway. These are one of my favorite stickers ever, sticker sheets ever. And I love how small they are now. I love how she's made everything smaller and a little bit more muted. Um, and then this is lazy day mom time which I got for me and my mom I am not a mom myself but and I am bigger than my mom um but it's fine um couple sleeping so I got the blonde haired guy to look like my fiance and then the girl is me um, couple kisses. I love these stickers. I love anything that looks like me and my fiance because a lot of shops and like sticker, st a lot of stickers don't come with like a blonde person and a like darker haired person. Um, this is coupled hugs. This is also coupled hugs, but this is same gender. And I just got these to represent my friends because I thought that was cute. This is coupled dinners. Couple date night, which I do use a lot of these because I do go on date night. We do go on date nights quite a bit. Um, couple daily, which is so cute. Besties. So I got a, me and then like a little paler of a girl that still looks like me because most of my friends um, look similar to me. I got vaccination, which I really am going to pull these out because I want to use them for my monthly spread, but there they are if you wanna see them. I wanna mark my second COVID vaccine with that. And then this is dog walking, which is so cute, I love that. Junk food, scallop planner, which I think these are so cute to mark planning and I love the colors. And then magical film, which I got to represent like Disney films. So that is everything from Paper Shire. And then finally, my ginormous order from Caress Press. So I did get quite a lot. I even have my invoice here so that I could tell you guys everything just because I feel like I 
just have awful memory or something. Um, so I will first show you guys um, the freebies, I guess. So this is a gold freebie. And there's some icons, a full box, and some scripts. And I definitely use these. I use all of these, honestly. Um, this is two full box overlays. And this one says, all we have is now. And then this one has a little border. And then this is a rose gold freebie. They, these date covers are so cute. Um, I usually use the date covers in the kit, but these are really cute. So those were the freebies. And then I will show you guys the scripts. So she was having a massive sale. I'm not sure if it was just a foil sale or if it was a whole entire, I think it might've been a whole entire shop sale, but I went crazy on her foil because I really do love a lot of her items. So these things were like all just like really affordable in my opinion. So I got this binge script and I like how there's just a binge one and then there's also a binge watch one. So I got that in gold, hollow, rose gold, and silver and then I got family night and family time and then they're also in bigger and again I just like the variety because sometimes I like these things don't fit in a little things but these ones do and I just like being able to mix it up so I got that in gold hollow rose gold and silver and then I got work I actually got these mainly for the work from home because I do do a lot of work from home so I got those in gold hollow, rose gold, and silver. So those were all the scripts I got. And then I did get a bunch of whole reinforcers. So I got two in silver, and these are like the sampler ones, rose gold, hollow, and sparkly holler, hollow. And unfortunately she was sold out of gold, so I couldn't get those. And then these, this is where it's gonna get a little confusing. So. All right, guys, sorry about that. I was really confused about what I ordered. I think I'm missing a page of my invoice and I was like really proud of myself for keeping the invoice in the first place. So I was like a little distraught, but I have um, a bunch of these confetti ones. I opened a bunch just to make sure they were all the same, but basically these are all confetti and I have it in gold, sparkly hollow, rose gold hollow. And then I will show you guys the silver one. So it comes with some scripts a weekend banner, icons, whole reinforcers, and date numbers. I just love this format so much. These are the full boxes and I really like how she has two full boxes for a double box because I don't really see that very much. And then the bougie boxes and then um, bottom washing, mini deco, and a bunch of headers. So I really, really like this format. I find that I use pretty much everything in the foil bundle. So I got that and that is called the shimmer chunky no that is called the confetti foil bundle this one is called the shimmer and i got this in gold silver and rose gold i'm not sure if it was sold out in hollow or what but this one is very cute as well so you have the full box overlays the bottom washi which is similar but you can see the pattern is like a little bit more like stars kind of it's kind of like scroll prince coast twinkle um this is the scripts icons whole reinforcers date numbers and weekend banner and then two pages of bg boxes so love all of those i'm really excited to get to use these just because i usually if you watch my plan with me is use half cut headers and so to use bougie boxes is definitely going to be a luxury so that is everything that i got from crest press that is everything for the first part of this haul i'm sorry if that was really long um and i was a little all over the place i'm kind of distracted right now but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next part all right, I am here for part two of my April monthly haul. I have quite a bit of shops. I also have an order that I thought I would show you guys too, a clothing order from a small shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with once more with love. I believe that was the first order I got in. So I did get this journaling card and it says, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. And it has like a baby munchkin, a regular munchkin and an old munchkin. And then there is, um, a little note from Marg. So I got that. And then I did order this 
in April. So I got the April freebie. So there's like a little T-Rex costume, a little geotag location, a duck that says duck, um, a Bob Ross doodle, and a like munchkin in some packaging. So I got that as a freebie. And then I will show you guys the stickers I got. So the first sticker sheet I got is the sweaters of David. I love David. He's from Schitt's Creek. If you haven't watched Schitt's Creek, I highly recommend it. It's such a good show. One of my favorite shows ever. And then I got Best Wishes, Warmest Regards, which is like all the characters of Schitt's Creek. And then there's some quotes here from some of the show. I just thought this was so cute. I did get the car munchkins, which I will definitely get a lot of use uh, out of. I love all the different colors and the sizing of them. I got the no bra day ones. I just really like the ones with the bra. Um, I think she did a poll on Instagram asking if she should include like the drawing of the boobs. And I, sorry, my parents puppy is here squeaking her toy. Um, <laughs> All right, I do apologize for that. I had to put her outside with my fiance. Hopefully that'll help her. I put her toy outside, but now she just wants to be with me. Um, So she, Mark did do a poll asking if she should like include the drawings of the boobs. And I totally thought she should, but I guess no boobs won. So um, that is fine, but it does say no bra day. And then there's some munchkins holding different colored bras. I got the FTS sheet. Um, so I won't read any of these out loud, but I think this is hilarious. I got the Generally Unwell 2.0, um, and I love the one that said, wasn't planning on crying today, which is literally me, like, every day. Um, so I thought these were super cute. I got the Top of the World ones, which is just, like, a munchkin with a heart on top of the world. I got the Cry Baby, which I thought was so cute. I like how there's different types of crying so there's like the happy cry all the way to like the really sad crying or like I don't know why I'm crying um so I thought those were cute I got the munchkin blob which I feel like is so me some days like I just don't want to do anything so that is really cute I got the on cloud nine which I've actually marked that I've been on cloud nine before in my planner and I remember doing that and I was like I could totally use a sheet for that so I got those I got the not today Effers. Um, and this is just also a little inappropriate, but I will definitely get use out of them. I got the gold star, which I thought was so cute. Um, just to mark like proud accomplishments and stuff, I definitely needed more stickers for that. And then I did the just, I got the just do it, which is a munchkin just saying just do it. And I thought those were all really cute. So that is everything I got from Once More with Love. Moving on to sugar box stickers. Um, this is actually my first ever order with China, and I think she's so sweet. We follow each other on Instagram and we do chat a little bit and she's just so sweet. So I definitely want to support her shop. I thought her stuff was so cute. She's unfortunately closed right now. Um, maybe by the time I post this, she will be back open. I am not 100% sure, but I will still link her down below and I definitely recommend checking out her shop because she's just such a sweet person and her stickers are so cute. So this was the March $30 freebie. There's just various foiled gold foiled icons and I love all of these so much I'm definitely going to get use out of this and then this is the March $50 freebie which is a bunch of scripts in black and I just love her handwriting so much I think this is so cute so I got those two freebies and then I also got this freebie which is um kind of like Easter theme so there's like a cupcake with ears a peeps a milkshake and a cake with bunny ears as well. And then I will get into the doodles I got. So the first thing I got was the Baja Blast Freeze Doodles. I thought these were so cute. I love Baja Blast from Taco Bell. And so I definitely needed a whole sheet of those. I got the Pastel Mickey D's Nuggets, which I thought were so cute. Um, because I always get the 10 piece chicken nuggets from McDonald's and I love how they're in pink with the different sauces. I actually only eat my nuggets with ketchup, but I will take the extra sauces just because they're so cute. And then I got the pastel happy meals, which I also thought were so cute just to mark getting McDonald's. I've actually recently started to get, um, 
Happy Meals because I work with kids and it's a great way to get some free toys that kids love. So I love this and these are all in pink, which I just think is adorable. And then I did get the Sonic snacks. So there's some drinks, there's some um, milkshakes, there's like mozzarella sticks, wings, corn dogs, um, nuggets. I'm not sure about all of them, but I love Sonic. There's not a Sonic very close to me, so I don't get it very often, but I especially love their ocean water, so I always get a drink from there if I go, um, and so I just thought this was really cute, and then I got the Mickey D's Doodles in pastel, so there's some Happy Meals, some nuggets, fries, burgers, McFlurries, nuggets, and more Happy Meals, and I just thought this was such a cute sampler all in pink. And then I got the same thing, but in the classic colors. So like the red and yellow, which is again, very, very cute. And then I did get the Chick-fil-A doodles. So there's some waffle fries, which I love. Those are by far my favorite things from Chick-fil-A. Um, the chicken sandwich, the chicken um, nuggets, and then milkshakes and drinks. So I thought this was so cute. And then I did get her scripts. I believe she was having like a coffee $2 Tuesday or something. And I am so happy I got these. These are literally the prettiest scripts ever to me. I love the little heart on the eye. I just think they're so cute. So I got Duncan in hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. I got Starbucks in this font. I got several fonts. So I got Starbucks in this font. I don't remember what they're called now, um, but I got that in gold, silver. Sorry, it turns out a little yellow with my lighting. Um, rose gold and hollow. Hollow is by far my favorite. And then again, this really cute script font. There is a little bit of an oops, but that is okay in Apollo, rose gold, gold, oh sorry, silver and gold. And then I got the little ice drink doodles, which I think is so cute. I always get pink drink or like an ice drink from Duncan. Um, so I definitely needed the ice drink doodles. So I got the in hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. So that is everything I got from Sugar Box Stickers. I'm very obsessed with this shop. I think that her stuff is so cute and I definitely recommend checking out her shop. So that is all of that. And then the next thing I show you guys is from Sadie Stickers. She did have a $2 Tuesday with her bring back foil icons and I have been waiting for this. Um, I am obsessed with her bow icons, so I had to get these. So I got the cars in hollow, rose gold, gold. I don't know why there's not a silver. Maybe it will turn up because I definitely meant to order silver. I got the alarm clocks in hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. Is there a silver in here and I'm just missing it? No. I might have to message them. I got the houses in hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. I got the laptops, which I use these a lot for school and work stuff. So hollow, rose gold, silver, and gold. And then more laptops in gold and silver because I use those the most. And then TV icons, I also love these in hollow, rose gold, silver, silver, gold, gold. So I think I'm gonna message her because, or check my order, make sure I place the silver, but I'm not seeing the silver car icon. Um, but that is everything I got from Sadie Stickers, super cute. And then I do have an order from Whimsical Cat Studio. Um, I love this shop. I love her stickers so much. I love her character stickers, especially. And it seems like she got new paper, which I'm really excited about because I love new paper. So first I got this little ballerina freebie, super cute. Um, I think it might be a die cut or a vinyl. Yes, it is. So that's really cute. And then I got this like cute little Sailor Moon freebie. I'm not really big into Sailor Moon, but that is very cute. And then I got this journaling card as well. She looks like a vampire girl. 
And then these are the actual stickers I got. So um, some of these are new releases. Some of these I just needed more of, but I'm glad I got more of them because it's all a new paper. So this is um, just, uh, oh, it says Max and Zoe. So I guess Max is the blonde guy and Zoe is the girl I got. I thought her name was something else for some reason. I don't know. Um, but this is so cute. I love this. It's like a couple hugging, hugging from the back and just like happy hugging. And then there's like different color hearts. This is like kind of kissing. And I just love how much these look like me and my fiance. This is like hand holding, which my fiance and I never hold hands because we just hate holding hands, but still cute. Um, cuddling. I love these so much to mark cuddling. I definitely hope that she releases these in even more colors that are a little more neutral because I do have the sheet that's all like this purple and it is, I can't use them very much because I don't have that much purple in a lot of spreads. Um, so yeah. And then this one is so cute. This looks just like my fiance, just in different poses um board games i just want to make sure i'm not skipping a sheet this is the fighting one which i think this is so cute i love these ones so much i obviously don't love fighting with my fiance but getting to market with a really cute sticker is hilarious and the sorry sorry one is so funny that is so me and my fiance um, and then I got the same one, but with girls. Oh, so I guess the other girl is San. I don't know, but I guess I get Zoe. I think Zoe's a little more tanner and San's a little more paler. I am a little more tanner. Um, the kissing, the hand holding. And I did get them all with just black hair because like all my friends slash family uh, look like me. And then this is the cuddling, which I can mark like sleepovers with my friends. I got the grandpa with the dog, which I thought was so cute because he looks just like my grandpa. And um, I mean, my grandpa doesn't like love my dog or anything, but I usually bring my dog when I visit him. So I just thought that was really cute. I got the ice cream ones. I love these ones holding the ice cream cones in different colors. The laundry, the Starbucks. This is one of my most used sheets and I've been waiting to restock it. I love this sheet. The um, like animal sampler, so you have walking the dog, vet visit, which I do use these a lot, dog food, a dog food bowl, a water bowl, and more walking the dog. Um, some Minnie Mouse Disney ones because I did go to Disney, um, but I actually have a whole sheet of these, but this is in the new paper, so that's fine. For some reason, this is the only one in the old paper. Um, it's like just a matte paper. This is more like a unicorn paper, I think they call it. Um, but this is like the girl boss and she's holding the drink. I don't know if this was like a freebie or what, but cute. And then the little dog ones, I love these. It's not the right color of my dogs. My dogs are mainly white, but still so cute. Um, this one's like planning, I think very cute i love this one like face in pillow lazy these don't have names so i'm kind of just making them up and then i like this one so much my dog does this she like sits on my laptop um so this is just like working with a dog at home or doing schoolwork so that is everything i got from Wim's Gold cat studio i love their new paper i'm really excited about that and that was super cute the last planner item I have is this kit that I'm actually no longer using, but I got it for my second week in Disney. I am using a different kit that will hopefully still come in April. I just ordered it today from Scoble Prince Co. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to give this away for fun because I'm probably not going to Disney again for a while. Uh, I don't know. I might, but... Um, I, I was really torn. I wasn't obsessed with this kit. I just couldn't find another kit. Um, but Scorpio Prince Co. and like a bunch of shops just released all this new Disney art. So, um, I'm no longer planning on using this. So I don't know if I'm going to give it away yet or just keep it. But this one is called Bang. It's after like the Lounge Fly, I think, collection. I didn't see any of this in Disney, but this is just the kit. I'm going to go over it relatively fast because... I don't plan on using it, um, but it is very, very cute. 
The colors are definitely unique. And this is the bottom washi. Lots of fireworks, which I also didn't even see fireworks at Disney World because they're not doing fireworks right now. And then I did get like all of the add-ons. So I got the 15 millimeter strip, the glitter headers, the label sampler, and the fashion girls. But I am not planning on using this anytime soon. I might hoard it, I don't know. I'm not sure yet, but I got this kit and now I'm no longer using it. So um, the final order I wanted to show you guys is from this um, shop called Asian American Girl Club. I got a shirt for my mom as well, but it's basically the same thing, just in purple. So I'm going to show you guys the shirt I got. Um, I got this around the like Stop Asian Hate stuff going around. Um, and I just think this is so cute. Um, it just says Asian American Girl Club in this really cute font and it's like tie dyed, which I love tie dye. Um, and I just want to support like, uh, Asian small business, Asian American girl small business, I guess, which I am. Um, so I really, really like this and I think this is so cute. So I just wanted to show this, um, it's a nice way to support small businesses and it's such a cute shirt. Um, so I did get this in this like blue tie dye. And then I also got one in purple for my mom. So that is everything for this portion of the haul. And I will talk to you guys in the next portion. Hello again and welcome back to my April monthly haul. This is going to be my final portion of the haul. Um, this is going to be probably a longer haul because I have so much stuff still. This stuff all came in May, but I'm going ahead and hauling it for April because I am back planning and using this kit for my final week in Disney. If you guys don't know, it was just released um, and I really wanted to use it. So I'm putting it in my April monthly. It's technically May, but I'm using this kit in April so I wanted it in my April monthly haul um, because otherwise it'll just be too delayed because my May monthly would go up in June etc so anyways I have um, a shirt from an Etsy shop I have a Kinsey's creations order I have a huge scribble Prince co order I have a coffee monsters co order plan a Hannah and lastly but certainly not least letters to Apollo so I'm gonna go ahead and try and go through this with the order I kind of received things so I think I received like these things first I'm gonna go through it that way and yeah all right so first up I do have my plan a Hannah order and I did place this, I believe, during her sale, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure. This came in a while ago. I just haven't hauled it. I've just been, like, not filming lately. Um, so I'm hauling it a little bit late, but it doesn't matter to you guys, obviously. I did when I opened the, um, like packaging, I couldn't open it. So I cut it open with scissors and I cut the journaling card. Normally I wouldn't care, but this journaling card is so cute. So I'm kind of sad about it, but it's okay. So I got this cute journaling card from Hannah and I love Planet Hannah stickers so much. Her stickers are just so affordable and so cute, especially her scripts. So I'm gonna go through the freebies first. So I did get the Sophie Plan 6 freebie. Um, I follow, I think, all of the new PR girls on Instagram. So I'm just going to make my rounds with who I um, use my use like the code with. Um, and then I did, yeah, so it was the TPC sale, which I don't know what that stands for. Um, but this was the TP sale freebie. And then this is, I guess, the monthly freebie, I'm going to assume. And then this is um, a nice, a really pretty, I don't know what kind of foil this is. It's like purple, blue, um, and like white almost. And it's some like cute, like little spring doodles, which are really, really cute. So those are all the freebies I got in my order. And then I'm going to go ahead and get into my order. So... 
I did order lots of customs. The first custom I ordered was a Thai food. And I know this one's font choice four, but I don't know what the other font choices are, but I would just look on her Etsy listings. I am half Thai and I do love Thai food and there's really good Thai food near us. So we do get it quite often. So I wanted just a custom script because I do have scripts, I feel like for most types of food, but not like specifically Thai food. So I did pick that up. I did get this custom, which just says family Zoom. I believe this was a custom. Um, but I do do a lot of family Zooms with my immediate family and um, more distant family as well, especially during COVID. So I got that. And then I did get Peloton stickers. I got these in all four foils, gold, rose gold, silver, and hollow because I did get a Peloton. So I wanted to mark that. And these are so cute. I love these so much. There's honestly not very many Peloton stickers out there. But um, so that's why I got these as a custom, but I would love to see more. I got a Mochi Sleeps Over custom script. I do have some of these already, um, but I'm running very low. So I just got a refill on those. I got Washington DC scripts. If you don't know from my videos, I do live right outside of DC. I've lived in the DMV my whole life and I'm always in the city. So I wanted these stickers to mark that when I go in the city. I got reunited with Mochi, which is a sticker sheet I'm almost out of. And that is my parents' puppy. Um, and I use these a lot because whenever we're reunited, she is so excited to see me and it's like a huge thing. So I love marking that in my planner. I got this, which just says from Jake and my Jake is my fiance. He does get me like a lot of random things and I like to mark them in my planner because I think it's cute. Like whether it's flowers, Starbucks, something bigger, um, like a nicer gift, whatever it is, I just wanted to be able to mark it. So I thought that would be kind of cute to use like a character sticker and then just like a front Jake script. I got these that say play with Mochi, which is again my parents' puppy. I got walk Mochi. I have walk Maisie and Mochi scripts. Maisie is my dog, but Maisie's really old and doesn't really go on walks that long anymore. So I got the walk Mochi ones. I got the challenge scripts because my fiance and I are obsessed and I can't find a shop who sells these. So I just got these as a custom. I got these as a custom. This says supervision meeting. I am under supervision right now to get my ultimate certification, my ultimate end goal. Um, and so I have to do a lot of supervision meetings. So I got this to mark that. I did get cuddles in all four foils. I love this font. I think this is so cute. So silver, rose gold, gold, and hollow. And that's really cute. And then I did get whole reinforcer refills in all four foils. I really love these ones. I forget which number they are, but these ones are definitely my favorite. And then I did get lots of 90 Day Fiance. I actually only had 90 Day Fiance scripts in black. And so I was like, I need them in all foils because I watch it weekly. Um, I've just become obsessed. So I have that in rose gold, gold, hollow, and silver. And then I did get them in another font too. I think this is font choice four um, in the same four foils as well. So that was a super cute order, lots of customs and lots of scripts, and then also some whole reinforcers from Plana Hannah. So that is my first order I have. Moving on to my next order, I have a order from Letters to Apollo. I just realized this journaling card is like really nice material. I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like cardstock. It's like really thick and nice. So this says nothing phases me with the moon phases, which is really cute. I'm definitely going to keep this. It's like a really nice journaling card. And then I just wanted to show you guys this packaging. I thought this was so cute. It says warning contents inside may cause extreme excitement, which I just thought was so cute. Um, so I believe these were her $2 Tuesdays. My invoice is in there, but I'm not going to show that for obvious reasons. So I did get study in all four, um, foil colors and I don't have many just study scripts and I do have to do a lot of studying for my like I said ultimate end goal in life which is going to be at the end of this year um, I have to take a huge exam but I also just study a lot for school and whatnot too so I got that I got the shopping spree in just black which I just really love how these are lettered like with the calligraphy at the top and then the 
um, I don't know my fonts, but the different font on the bottom. I just love how these look. Vet appointment, I do go to the vet a lot because my dog is really old. Um, you're doing amazing, sweetie. I thought these were so funny. I don't know when I'm going to use them, but I just thought these were too funny not to pick up. Lazy time and then tidy up in all four foils. Dental appointment and then binge watch in all four foils as well. Again, just love the way these are written and love the way they look. I got up early in just black, up late in black, and then doctor's appointment in black. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but the foils that I get in just black, I don't think I will use them as much. Like they're kind of just like things that um, don't happen weekly, but the fo the foils that I get every color in, um, they happen more often. So I want more like variety, if that makes sense. So that is everything I got from Letters to Apollo. Moving on to the Coffee Monsters Co., which I'm really excited for. First, I have this journaling card. It says, from an idea to your doorstep. And this is just really cute, just like the whole process she goes through. And this is just like one of the reasons why I love supporting small businesses. Just like, like look at how happy they get and all that stuff. So um, I really, really like this journaling card. It's really cute. And then um, it did come, I don't think I bought this. It did come with this vinyl decal, which is really cute. And it's like holding stickers, washi, pen, pencil, and it says no judging, which is really cute. And then we will go into what I got. So first and foremost, I got the things I hope will never happen. Again, I think she was having maybe her birthday sale. I'm not sure. And I just found the freebies. So I'm actually going to go through this first. So this is the March 2021 freebie. It says, I'm okay, I guess. There's like a little macaroon with a matcha green tea. It looks like a piggy bank. And then a little emoji walking through the mountains. All right, now going into the stickers. So first I have the things I hope will never happen. And this is like earthquake, tornado, hurricane, um, blood drive, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think anything like this will happen where I live, but you never know when you need a sticker like this. So I just wanted to get this. I've been wanting to get this. And so I just got that because you never know. Um, this is spread love emojis. I just love how happy they are. Like they just look so cute with the little hearts. Oh, and I feel like you could use these for girlfriends, boyfriends, any type of friend you could use these for. I got filing tax slash paperwork emojis. I actually got these because I love the data stickers because I do do a lot of data collection, analysis, inputting, et cetera, for my job. Um, so I would love a whole sheet of these. I don't know if maybe I could like ask her for a whole sheet of them. I don't know if shops do that. I've never asked like that. Um, but I just, I got that for this specific sheet. I got couple and friends. This is boy, boy, which these just look like any... I don't know why it says boy, boy. Did I get girl, girl? Yeah, I don't know, but you could literally use these for anyone. I got the takeout emojis, which we've been doing a lot of takeout. So there's a little like food bag, um, a little, well, this is like a brown paper bag. This is like a plastic bag. This is like a pizza box, like boxes. And then this one's like an actual pizza box. Um, but I think these are so cute and we've been doing a lot of takeout since COVID. So those are really cool, cute. This is strolling emojis, which she's just strolling in the park. And I think these are really cute, perfect for like walks. I got more princess emojis cause I was going to Disney world and, um, I wanted to get a refill of these, but I definitely did not need one. I still have plenty. I got the Skype emojis, which is just like video chatting. Like it could be for Zoom or anything, which I, again, like I said, I've been doing a lot of. And then I got the villain ones just because I thought these were really cute. I thought I could use these for Disney, but I ended up doing more minimum, like not marking every single thing at Disney. So um, I'm probably not going to use these, but they're still really cute to have. And then this is so cute. This is the food couples emojis. And it's like different couples as like food. So there's like milk and Oreo, avocado and chips, burger and fries, like boba and fruit tea, cake and ice cream. Like these are just so cute. I don't know when I'll use them, but they're just like so cute. And then the words aren't even attached, which I love. It's just the emojis. So like 
I just think these are so cute. I might honestly buy another one. I just feel like these are so versatile. And yeah, I really, really like these. So that is everything I got from Coffee Monsters Co. And then I'm going to move on to Scribble Prints Co. All right, so this is my very large Scribble Prints Co. order. Um, I actually, she had a like seven year, I think it was her seven year anniversary sale. She had an anniversary sale and like everything was like 20% off. And I bought so much stuff the week before that. I was kind of kicking myself. The only thing I really needed at the time was this kit, but it is fine. I don't mind supporting small businesses. So um, this is the hollow freebie and it says, your voice was the soundtrack of my summer. There's some icons and a Scribble Prince Co. Happy Mail script. And then I did get this gold freebie that's a script sampler and then another silver freebie that's a script sampler. So love all those freebies. And then I'm gonna show you guys the wiggle I got first. I don't know what this was called and I'm very sorry. Um, it is in her celestial format and I just got it because it was on sale when I got all these and I was like, I might as well. I probably wouldn't have picked it up otherwise, but it's just black. It's honestly like not really foily, which is kind of disappointing. It's literally just like black. So I don't know. I feel like that's kind of just like boring. Um, like I'm sure I'll use it. I guess you can kind of see the foil here but it's like literally pretty much just black, which is kind of disappointing, but this is in her celestial format. So you have full box overlays, headers, two sheets of those, bougie boxes, two sheets of those, the scripts and the icons, and then the bottom washi, more headers, mini deco and date covers. So I don't know when I'm gonna use that. It is kind of disappointing that it's like not really foiled, um, but we will, see about that um so then i got four kits so i'm gonna go into the one that i'm obviously most hyped about if you can't tell and she released this literally when i was in disney world she released this um or she she like released the month i think it was that monday that the before i left um so yeah, she released this the Wednesday after I got back. I got back on a Tuesday and I did an Instagram poll and you know, I wanted to make sure I should use this because if you remember, I bought a Whimsical Plans kit for my trip to Disney, but this one is just perfect. I love all the elements. I love the colors. I had already bought Sparkly Hollow to use for my Disney spread. So the fact that I could tie in the same foil was just really nice. And the biggest thing I love about this is how all four parks are featured because I went to Epcot on Monday and then that was like it for my trip. So I'm gonna use this box on Monday. Um, the rest of these three parks I went to the previous week, but I just love how it has all the parks because it reminds me that I went to all the parks. I feel like a lot of Disney kids only have Magic Kingdom inspired stuff. And so I really like how it ties in all the parks together. I just think that's so cute. So this Mickey and Minnie is so cute. This outfit, the suitcase, like everything is just so, so cute so that is the first page oh my god love the face mask because that was like a big part of my disney trip um and then the starbucks cup is super cute but i'm going to be using what's on here i will show you guys quick soon um oh my god it's just so stunning Sorry if you can hear my fiance, he's working. I made him go outside, which it's like a nice day out and he likes being outside, so it's fine, but he's like right next to me. Um, oh my God, I just love this kit. So that is Magical 50th. I don't think I mentioned that. And then it did come with this freebie, which is just this adorable girl. Like, look at that outfit. The face mask is everything for me because that was like such a big part of my Disney trip. So I also purchased the add-on in fam four so it's the same girl but in a different skin tone and then it's like this girl holding a hand with a really cute denim jacket and the ears and then a freaking pink drink if you guys watch my plan with me you know i get pink drinks like almost every day i got a pink drink in animal kingdom i didn't get it anywhere else i couldn't find starbucks anywhere else i know they're there i just couldn't find them and it wasn't like my biggest priority while i was there 
But this paint drink sticker, guys, I need a vinyl of it. I need a die cut of it. I need a multiple stickers of it. Like, it is everything for me. Oh my god, I love it. I I promise, like, I try not to freak out about like little things, but this is everything. Like, I just I'm obsessed. So that was magical 50th. I did get the bottom washi, which I'm assuming is this one to go with it as well. And then I'm going to go into the grad kit because I am going to be using this one in May. I did um, just finish my master's degree. So that's really exciting. I got an MA and a master's of arts and I am graduating actually next weekend when I'm filming this. Um, but on May 16th, I don't know when this video will go up, but if you guys are curious. Um, so I'm really excited and I was really sad and shocked that no one really released graduation art this year. So I'm really glad my favorite shop Scribble Prince Co did because I'm just, this one is so cute. So it does come with this freebie, which is just alternate girls and skin tones to these two boxes. And then these are the boxes. I love the stay at home vibes because my graduation this year is virtual. Unfortunately, the school I go to is like the only school I believe um, in America that allows the graduation to be on the National Mall, which is like so cool. And unfortunately it is postponed to another um, time. So I probably won't go to it in the future, but yeah, that was kind of sad because I was really looking forward to having my graduation on the National Mall because that's just like so cool to be graduating in front of the Washington Memorial, Lincoln Memorial, all that cool stuff. Um, I love this bottom washi. So that is the grad kit. It's called We Did It. And these again are the extra boxes. And then I did pick up the washi, which I believe is this one. And then I'm going to go into the pride kit next because I'm going to use this in June probably. I just, I love, love, love this kit so much. This is called Pride Pool Party. I think this is such amazing art. So first and foremost, you have this freebie and two alternate skin tones from this box, which I love this person the most. Like, I think they look so sick. I love their hair and just like their tattoos and their outfit and every their makeup everything so you do have two couples here and then this person and then just like all the elements of this are so cute I love this like rainbow drink that's totally something I would drink I love 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 how modern this house is and all the floaties and just like all the rainbows like you can tell this is a pride kit this box for me is like one of the reasons why I got it I love just like the fruit the kebab rainbow fruit thing and the nails and just everything. I love the colors of this kit. It's just so cute, so bright, so fun. <gasps> look at these patterns. I love the stars. This would look so good with rainbow, the rainbow star foil she has, which I'm using for my Marvel kit. I think rainbow would be a little much for this, but you know, if you're feeling it, like, why not? And then this was the washi add-on. I had to buy this one. Like, this one is just so cute. I love the rainbow. And then last but certainly not least, the only reason why I'm showing this one last is because I don't know when I'm going to use it yet. But I am definitely using it because it is so cute. I just, I love this art. I can't get it out. Okay. Okay. So first you do have two alternate skin tones again for this box right here. And then there's just this art is so cute. Like the switch. I love these two fashion girls. Like I just think they're both so beautiful. I love this one's outfit with those different colored shorts. Um, and I love the like black and white, I don't know, like checkerboard pattern, I guess. I just think this is so cute. Oh, there's a cake. I could use this for someone's birthday. This looks like the cake that was in my dog's birthday kit. I wonder if she reused that. Um, so yeah, I love the black in this. Oh, this is so cute. This would look so pretty with a fun foil. 
Oh my god, I forgot about this bottom washi. I love the checkerboard, like I just said, and the smiley faces. That is so cute. I feel like I used to not really like Scribble Prince Co.'s bottom washies for most of her kits, but I feel like she really stepped it up lately. And then this is the washi add-on too. So that is everything from Scribble Prince Co. Quite a lot of stuff. Last sticker order I have is from Kinsey's Creations. Um I believe I ordered this during a sale, but she has since had another sale that I ordered even more stuff at. So, um, yeah, but this is the freebie. Oh yeah, it was the pink planner sale. So that's fun. This freebie's in pink foil. Um, so you get a bunch of different icons. I love this pink foil. It's so pretty. And then I will show you guys. I just got some scripts, which I think is like all Kinsey's creation cells. So I just got canceled scripts, cook in gold and silver, cuddles in silver and gold, edit because I have been doing a lot of editing for my YouTube channel, just in black, eye appointment because I do have like awful eyes and I have to go to the eye doctor quite regularly or the retinologist, which is a whole nother thing, but I'm not getting a custom retinologist script because that's just like, it's just unfortunate that I even have to go to the retinologist in the first place. So I'm using eye appointment, no work, plan in gold. And then she did send me this in rose gold. I definitely meant to order it in silver or I did. I'm going to check if I, um, I think I ordered this again in silver. So if I did, I'm just going to like be like, whatever, it's fine. Um, but if I didn't, I probably will ask for it in silver just because I don't really use rose gold that much. So that is everything from Kinsey's Creations. And last, but certainly not least, I just wanted to show you guys this fun Etsy shirt I got. I completely forgot the name of the shop and unfortunately I'm filming on my phone, but I will leave them linked down below. So just check out the links down below. But I just got this shirt because I thought it was so cute. Um, I wanted a shirt that was um, kind of just like, I don't know, celebrating my master's degree. And I just thought educated AF was really funny because I do feel educated AF now that I have a master's degree. So I just got it in black and it's really cute. I'm going to take some pictures with it with a grad cap on. Um, I don't know when yet, but uh, you can look out for those pictures. But that is everything for my April monthly haul. It was so much. I'm so sorry if this was really long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoy really long hauls. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, stay tuned for my April monthly if that's not up yet. And then I I will, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video whenever that is. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.